Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are doing a wear test of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. This is my first time trying this foundation. I know it's not new, but it's new to me. And the only reason I picked it up is because I now have dry skin and the Sephora sale. I needed to get a discount because this little girl is pricey. So we will be doing a full day wear test at least probably 10 hours. So you guys will get to see what this looks like on my skin at the end of the day. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, I would love to welcome you to join the family. So please click that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it's mostly makeup content, hauls, tutorials, reviews, a little bit of everything, plus a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So I won't keep you waiting any longer if you want to see how this foundation applies and how it plays with other makeup products, as well as the rest of the wear test for a full day. Stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, we are starting off with my face primed. It is currently 10.57, starting a little late, but it's Sunday. You girl gotta sleep in sometimes. Today we are reviewing the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. This is what the box looks like. This is not a new foundation, but it is new to me because having oily skin before, never would have picked this up. Now that I'm dry, I was like, okay, Sephora sale happening. Let's go ahead and give it a shot because this is expensive. This foundation retails for, sorry, I did not have this information already ready, $64. It comes in 56 shades, which is very surprising. And like I said, I got mine from Sephora, so I'm on their website, has great reviews. And I am in the shade number 10, which they classify as a deep golden. I looked at 11 and I decided not to get that one because it looked like it would turn a little gray on me. So definitely don't want that. This says it's perfect glow flawless foundation. Uh, claims on the website say award-winning oil-free foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with a luminous glowy skin finish for a natural makeup look coverage is medium finish is radiant so I already primed my face I use my Becca primer you already know this is the wear test primer I am going to color correct a little bit just because I don't know y'all. I feel like the more videos I film, the more critical I get of myself. And it's like, uh -uh. you don't have acne anymore, but sometimes I feel like my hyperpigmentation is like really, really bad. And some days, I don't know, it's worse than others. So we're just going to do this real quick to give the foundation a fair chance. Cause I don't want to say I hate it based on the fact that it's just my skin. I'm going to start off with just one pump of the foundation and I'm going to see how far I can make that stretch. But we already know most of the time I use way more than that. So we are not going to do anything different. We are going to do what we normally do. So of course this does come with a pump. It better for $64. So actually this is like a pump and a half. I did buy this in store, so I was able to get help on the color match, thank goodness. Because if I was going by the website, I probably would have gone with shade 11. So right now we're just stippling because I want to try to keep as much coverage as I can. But we do know I'm going to go in with another pump. I feel like for this to say it's golden, it looks like it's a little red which I don't think I'm mad at. I definitely feel like it's blending easy. I'm surprised this looks a little dark for me. But in the world of barber wearing foundation, we already know this is what I like. So we are not complaining. All right, so this is one pump or one and a half ish because you know that first pump never comes out right. 
You can see the glow on my skin, but I think this is very pretty. So we're gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with my sponge just a little bit to press it into the skin and then I'm gonna go in with another pump. We're gonna concentrate that mostly, y'all know, in my problem areas. So this is a full pump right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, very runny. So cheek area, chin area. I don't need much on my forehead. I didn't color correct my mustache. So now let's see, stipple again, and I am using a pretty dense brush to help get good coverage. This is a Luxy brush. I mean, I definitely see that it's building up. It's still not completely full coverage. Like you can see, and I feel like the more that I've added, you can see this looks even darker than this or more red, I should say. But you know, we balance all that out, so it's not a big deal. All right, so this is where we are. Y'all know I want to try to put just a little bit more. I mean, I don't want to put, this is normal what I would wear. I'm not trying to do like super full coverage. And I know that the more I put on, the more risk I have of it just sliding all over my face. And I don't want to do that. So I think this is really good coverage. You can see the glow, but you can also see a little bit of my dark spots peeking through. So I could color correct some more, but normally like this area here is where my concealer goes and that'll help with coverage. And then also if I add powder, but like down here, I see a little bit as well, but it's all right. I love how this looks. So we're gonna stop right there. I'm not gonna add any more and I'm gonna go finish up my face. And then we'll start the wear test. All right guys, so this is it for the final face. I'm gonna move in closer so you guys can see what my skin looks like. I finished my face. I used my Beauty Blender Concealer in the shade 4.05W. And I used my NYX Three Steps to Sculpt palette to give myself a little contour, a little bronze. And then for my cheeks, I just used a random kind of neutral blush um on my eyes is a surprise i am filming a three look video for you guys so you will see that soon but like i said i didn't want to do too much i haven't set my face i didn't put any additional powder on under my eyes i use the rcma no color powder i love this powder nobody talks about it anymore but i love using this especially if i want to put something under my eyes when i'm doing eyeshadow looks because it brushes away easy and it doesn't cake up or make this look really dry. So this is where we're starting. It is currently 1140. So I will check back and when in with you guys probably twice around four o'clock, five o'clock. And then when I get ready to take it off, I'll be home today, not doing much packing, organizing. I've started packing up my makeup and it makes me feel a little type of way. I don't know. But yeah, so far, I love how this looks. And even though it says medium coverage, I do feel like this was buildable. I didn't add anything else, didn't add any kind of powder to help add more coverage. This is it. This is what my face looks like. So I'll check back in with you guys later. But so far, I love it. All right, this is our first check-in. It is currently 3.39. And so far, so good. And when I tell you... I've been moving around. I haven't been sweating or anything like that, but I filmed some other videos. I filmed this eyeshadow look and I'm trying to pack. It's not going well because I'm not ready to pack up my makeup yet. Cause I'm like, what if I need this for a video? Blah, blah, blah. So anyway, we've had this foundation on for about four hours, almost five hours. And it looks so good. I had to touch up under my eyes, but other than that, everything else is just, it looks flawless. And my forehead wrinkles ain't crazy. Can always tell looking at, <clears throat> excuse me, looking at that. So I even just finished eating. Nothing's breaking up. My creasing here isn't too bad. I did spray a little bit of my Urban Decay All Nighter because my under eyes were looking a little dry from doing the eyeshadow look. But other than that, 
haven't touched anything up everything is good so i'm gonna go finish doing stuff and i'm gonna check back in tonight for my final check-in but so far worth every penny all right we are back making sure my mic is on <laughs> We are back for the final check-in. It is currently 9.10. And honestly, guys, it's not so much that I'm tired. Is this thing going to focus? There we go. Just so y'all see. Ain't lying. We've had this on for about 10 hours. And I'm going to come in closer for you to see my face. I'm not, like, dying to get this off of me. My eyeshadow, I don't know what was up. I think my lashes were just too big or I had glue too close to the inner but they had to come off my eye was itching so my eyeshadow looks a little crazy but this face though i don't even feel like i have anything on i'm not ready to take it off but i need to go to bed because i gotta work tomorrow so i'm gonna come in closer for you to see my final face and y'all see my smile you know my thoughts but i'm gonna let you see for yourself all right so this is where we are you still see my highlight nothing has rubbed off it is not like transfer resistant or anything like that. I do see a little bit on my fingers when I touch my face. Y'all, these forehead wrinkles, they stayed in check for the most part. Not mad at that at all. But yeah, of course, I was doing some programming, some editing. Always rubs off because this is where my hands go when I'm thinking. But I absolutely love how this foundation looks. My face still looks good. I don't know this might be at the top of the list for my high-end foundation for all foundations but for my high-end for sure so I think this shade match back up so y'all can see I think this shade match is really good for me didn't have to do too much to it again I'm in the shade 10 I don't know what you did Giorgio Armani but I love it that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're new join the family hit that subscribe button and stick around because your girl has a lot of content coming i'm going to bed i will see you guys in my next video bye